guys this is just a shout out um i had uh, informed uh, my whatsapp channel that uh, whoever comes first of the video whoever views it first uh, just put their name in the comments and i'll shout them out in this uh, new video so alex alex Krani, um he was the first one to view the video so shout out to him and uh, lucas ong shout out to both of them thank you hello guys welcome back to a new video and in this video we're going to be doing a champions league analysis uh we will have a weekly quiz at the end and uh, we, will have, we will have the predictions in the final uh, so stay tuned and um we have reached 100 subscribers uh it's been seven months in the making thanks to all of your support and uh, just continue supporting me you know i'm going to be coming uh, i'm going to be posting uh, every week you know very good content you know just to keep you guys happy and uh, let's make it to 1000 by the end of august guys come on come on let's go smash that subscribe button and uh like the video and uh 56 percent of you uh, are not subscribed let me put it up here so if you haven't please like and subscribe thank you so guys over the past two weeks uh there was around seven Champions League, uh, eight Champions League fixtures, sorry, and uh, they go as follows. Uh, there was Man City versus Copenhagen, uh, which they won 3 1. Uh, there was Real Madrid versus RB Leipzig, which uh, Real Madrid won 1 1 0. Uh, there was PSG versus Real Sociedad, which PSG won 2 0. There was uh, Lazio versus Bayern Munich, uh, Lazio won 1 0. Uh, there was PSV versus uh, Borussia Dortmund, uh, they drew 1 1. There was a uh, Inter. inter Inter Milan versus Atletico Madrid. Uh, Inter Milan won one nil. There was um, Porto versus Arsenal. Uh, as you all know, it's been trending. Winston Galeno. Uh, he scored a beautiful goal. Um, the uh, Porto won one nil, and there was a uh, Napoli versus Barcelona. Um, it was a draw. Okay, so these are the eight fixtures which um, which took place, and the most interesting fixture for me is um, Arsenal. Arsenal's um fixture because they were in good form and I I was hoping I wasn't hoping I just uh, I was just curious if they would win because um I've seen a lot of memes recently which said that the last time Arsenal um won a knockout game was when Bayern Saka was still a small child and all that so you know it's kind of sad it's kind of it's very saddening to know that Arsenal still haven't won a knockout game in the Champions League so for my predictions stay tuned so guys uh, let's move on to my predictions um so what i have here on on my paper here on here um i have a feeling that uh, man city are going to go through uh, madrid are going to go through PS, uh, real sociedad are going to go through uh let's are going to go through uh borussia dortmund are going to go through uh, inter milan are going to go through uh, arsenal are going to go through and napoli are going to go through why I have a feeling Arsenal are going to go through is because um they've come into this competition and they worked hard last season and for them to come out um very early in the competition it's kind of embarrassing for them and then even the Magic can get like he has a bit of um pressure under it because um the obje the objective for Arsenal were win the Champions League uh win the Premier League or win whatever trophy they want to so now to come out of Europe oh, it's also devastating for the players and everything. Uh, Napoli. I have a feeling they've got a new manager now after sacking like yeah, maybe another two managers or three managers. I just hope that they go through and the manager can bring the players back to what they were last season on this quality. Uh, but I just feel like Napoli have dropped off massively. They do have a chance to win in the Champions League. So um next up is uh uh it's a weekly quiz, so please do enjoy it. So guys, uh, I forgot in the 
like uh, the previous predictions, like the prediction that I just did, I was wrong to the final, so I'm just going to complete that. So after all the teams do go through, if some of them, my two teams who go to the road of the final, like to the final, are going to be Real Madrid and I don't want to place, uh, place my bets high, but um, looking at this, I do feel it might be Arsenal. Nah, I'm joking, bro. Arsenal, Champions League final, never. I maybe it's gonna be Man City into Milan, one of those two teams. So those are the two teams for my for my prediction to go to the final. And now please go and enjoy the weekly quiz. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the weekly quiz, and uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and uh, next week on Sunday, uh, we're gonna have a new video dropping. It might be um, analysis or we check on to uh, generally talk about um, any league you want. I will put down a feedback form for the channel. Uh, if you haven't received one, um, I will put it down in the comment section down below. And um, also, before you guys leave, I just wanted to um, kind of show you my new Man United shirt. So just give me two seconds. <laughs> It is a bit late, um, through, cause we're already like halfway through the season. But then, it was my grandfather did buy for me last year, but it only came this year. So, let's unbox. Uh, let's um, uh, let me show you what I've got. So, there's my name, Amar, and you guys might not know this, but I, I am a very big Man United fan. Let's put this on my shirt. Mm. So I hope you guys can hear me. So guys, this is the shirt. The new Man United shirt from the UK. And uh, my grandfather did this get, get, did get this for me uh, from the UK, and as you can see, that's the back. I took number nine. I was going to take number seven, but I just chose number nine because um, I feel it's a good number. And it's the first shirt I've had. Um, it's the first shirt I've had from the UK, and to have it is you know a privilege. You know, I have this here. Yeah, it overall, it's a good shirt. You know, when you're signing for a new club, you know, you hold the shit like this, you know. No, I'm not signing for a new club. It's folding up, you see. And now, uh, sponsor is still team viewer, so I'm very proud of that. So, sorry for ke keeping you guys, you know, waiting, but I really want to be doing something for you guys. So, thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching. Um, see you next week. Peace.